Founder and staff of Vatican uh, Women's Magazine steps down, citing pressure over none abuse stories. Kind of pressure, like pressure to cover it or pressure Pressure to not cover it. Oh, well, no shit. So basically the entire uh, staff of this uh, newspaper uh, or this magazine quit over this. So once again, this is just proof that the Catholic Church is is doing everything they can to suppress the problem yes. in the church. What? Rome, no. the founder and staff of an all-female monthly Vatican publication, have stepped down en masse, citing what they call a newly difficult work environment and a Vatican attempt to undercut the women's voices on sensitive issues, including sexual abuse of nuns. The whole newsroom has resigned. Uh, Lucetta uh, Scar- Scarafia, Scarafia uh, who launched Women Church World seven years ago, uh, said in a phone interview, Scarafia was known as a comparatively liberal voice inside the city-state's ancient walls, advocating for a larger role for women in the church and more recently devoting editorial space to the long hidden hidden issue of abuse of nuns by clergy members. I, for one, am thrilled that they shut down this obviously uh, anti-Catholic. sexist, anti-Catholic, anti-humanist, anti-everything good in the world publication for pointing out these abuses that have occurred for thousands of years. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so uh, the publication's been uh, in operation for seven years. Uh, the Vatican's official newspaper, uh, L'Osservator Romano, uh, has been publishing pieces that contradicted the uh, Women Church World editorial line. Uh, she said her publication's editorial freedom has also been threatened with an attempt to put uh, Lo- L'Osservator Romano's new top editor, Andrea Monda, in charge of Women Church World. So basically, this uh, publication, this women's publication, is making waves for the Vatican by reporting on things like sexual abuse of nuns by clergy. And uh, so the Vatican's solution to that was, oh, well, we'll just install someone who's willing to play ball with us as the new puppet editor and uh, squash all of these unflattering stories. So everybody left. So basically yeah. the entire staff of the publications like, fuck that, we're gone. The Vatican covered it up. Yes. <laughs> That's all it is, dude. Like how long, like every time we cover one of these Vatican stories and you hear that instead of like dedicating their time to investigating all of this abuse and rooting it out and stopping it and punishing the people involved, that they're like trying to silence people talking about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, dude, they're like, I sometimes I, I, I like to watch um, the X Files and shit, and I love the parts where it's like you see like the smoky government rooms. Oh yeah, where they're all plotting like, here's how we'll control yeah. the masses, and the Vatican is just exactly that. You know, they're uh, they're over there uh, sitting in smoky rooms. Maybe they're not smoky, but they're sitting in a room somewhere plotting how they're gonna get away with their next fucking travesty. I mean, and like the question always comes up, like, how long are we going to allow this obviously disgusting anti-human like organization to have like clout in our country? Like as as, Americans, let's for as long as people follow them. Like, yeah, like, like, how could you still be in that church? How like how could you still go to church? All right, let's see how many Americans are Catholic. Well, I, I would say that you blame the people that do the the crimes. You'd say, look, the organization as a whole is good, they're but it's trying, not. I mean, it's clearly just, not though. They're just trying to protect the organization. Well, of, of as, good long as, as long as Catholics, as long as twenty three twenty three point nine percent of Americans identify as Catholic. That's a huge number of people. So that's twenty three point nine percent of Americans hoisting this institution up. Twenty three point nine percent of Americans have some splaining to do. If yeah. they want to stay part, like, I I made a video way back when about like how ultimately we shouldn't be mad at the individual priests abusing because they're just doing what the organization allows. We should be mad at the people that shuffle in day after day after day and throw their fucking money in the collection plate for this organization to stifle the press about abuse going on inside of it. It's a good expenditure of your fucking money, isn't it? Mm-hmm. For them to hire people to subvert newspapers mm-hmm. and squash stories. I mean, I mean come on, man. Truth. Like, at what point do you stop going to that church and giving it your money? 
when what's coming out the back end of it are like raped children and abused nuns and cover ups and yeah, and then horrible opulent old men and, and weird and you're still dresses. And you're shit. still putting money in the collection plate every time they pass it around. <laughs> Like, I continue to support this. 23.9% of Americans got some splaining to do. Fuck that. How many people in the world are It's Catholics? 2019. I mean, Tons. I think, but I mean, we're, it's about, if, it's about if we're just talking billion. about America. I think it's like 1.6 billion people are Catholic, dude. I don't know, but it's a crazy number. It's a crazy number. I mean, and, and I mean, no one's, so they are super powerful. And no, and no one's talking about how these large organizations like this just, just get swept under the rug over and over again, and nothing substantial gets done, and yet... If it's like, oh, the it's gonna be Easter Mass and the and the fucking Vatican, and it's fucking packed full of people. So what do you expect? If if pe- like you guys are right, I mean, if the people keep accepting these sort of, uh, this sort of behavior and these sort of actions from these people and just sweeping everything under the rug and they're fine with that, then they're just why why stop? People people bring their kids in those places. If I had a child, I wouldn't let my kid within six blocks of a Catholic church. Dude, I fucking have been to the Vatican, dude. <coughs> it is a fucking impressive. I mean, it, when I say city state, I mean it truly is. It's fucking a huge amount of land. They have ancient walls. They have some amazing works of fucking Renaissance art, ancient art. I mean, some of it even defaced by putting fig leaves over dicks, you know, on <laughs> Hellenic, you know, pieces or Greek pieces. And it's just it, the opulence and wealth of this organization. I think it is hard for most people to comprehend, and the influence that they have is just. And it's, it's all it's all on the dime of the people that continue support to it, yes. support it. And dude, yeah. and I've seen people go there and pray, and it's like these people, dude. I'm telling you, there's there's certain people that that doesn't matter. It's a, it's this, their personal relationship with this organization, and just how important important it is to, in a spiritual sense to them. There are people that are living paycheck to paycheck or worse that threw a couple bucks in a collection plate somewhere that ended up buying a golden toilet for somebody in the Vatican. Uh, there are 1.2 billion Roman Catholics okay, in so the world. I was way off, sir, but. According to Vatican figures, more than 40% of the world's Catholics live in Latin America, but Africa has seen the biggest growth in Catholic congregations in oh recent boy. years. And it, Poor Africa, man. Not only that, but it's nascent in Africa. So that right. means that it's just Catholicism is just getting <coughs> started there. It is. Africa, man, that... Hey, Africa, let me... let me a Word of advice. <laughs> Don't. Don't do it. They're, they're gonna. Um... <laughs> such a fucking like they've just drawn the worst dice as a fucking like area of the world they've been like horribly fucking oppressed and taken advantage of every step of the way now they're like just starting to come out and emerge as a an economy you know and uh they're inviting the catholic church in oh man that's gonna be a whole nother dark ages for africa